Your taxes, legal documents, even your medical records could be given out by mistake. Someone might be sifting through your personal information right now. And as Alexis Rivera reports, a machine you use every day at the office could be the culprit. Every time you hand over your ID for someone to make a copy, you could be handing over a license for someone to steal your identity. And it has nothing to do with the paper your information is printed on. It goes deeper into the memory of the machine. You load the original documents, press start, and out comes the copy. In just seconds, you've become a possible target for identity theft. How easy is it to get information, personal information, off of a copy machine hard drive? Oh, very easy. Dave Kleiman is a computer forensic expert specializing in data recovery. It could be dangerous. I mean, if someone gets a hold of that hard drive and wanted to get use that information in an illicit way, they could definitely do that. Nearly every copier built in the past six or seven years contains a hard drive, just like on a computer. That would be what you would find in the copy machine. It stores a picture of every single document that's copied on the machine. That could be your tax returns, bank statements, or medical records. Hello, how's it going today? Good, Good to see you. At Dr. Maureen Wheelahan's gynecology office, they used to do it the old-fashioned way, making copies of IDs and insurance for patient files, and eventually shredding copies, leaving the potential for records to be stored on a hard drive. But now they've revamped their computer systems. We're actually scanning it right into your chart to protect your privacy. That's always a concern these days, that identity theft is a big problem. So, but I had no idea that uh, the copy machine was, uh, was a resource for identity theft. Henderson isn't the only one. In fact, most people have no idea the copier is a moving target for identity thieves. Many of these copy machines are leased. So a lot of companies turn these machines back in with those hard drives intact and all that information on there, unbeknownst probably to them as well as the consumer. Hundreds of used machines sit in warehouses and local office supply stores. It's a ticking tech time bomb full of personal info. At Allen's Business Machines, we found dozens of copiers waiting to be sold. I don't know of any laws or any guidelines that would prevent, you know, from just taking a machine in and selling it immediately without it doing anything to it. There are no laws mandating hard drives be replaced or even wiped out. However, Robert Hinson, the store owner, says he clears out everything. Well, it would be much like a computer. We'd have to take the hard drive out and reformat it. Even if the hard drive's formatted, you know, you can still recover the documents off of it. As Kleiman shows us, the information can be easily recovered using a forensic software program that you can get for free online. It says empty space. It's, it thinks there's nothing there. A quick click on recover and the deleted file pops right up. So in essence, it's almost a false sense of security. Absolutely. You think it's gone, but it's not. Absolutely. Just like people think when they delete on their computer, it gets rid of it and it doesn't. And it takes money to add extra security to new copiers, which isn't always a necessity. Just because the extra effort, sometimes they don't feel it's necessary. Sometimes it complicates things, makes it take longer to do things. And everyone wants efficiency over security. Instead of trying to clear the hard drive, you can keep it before selling or returning the machine if it's leased. Kleiman says that can often cost a couple hundred bucks, but will help prevent the information from getting into the wrong hands. Alexis Rivera, WPBF 25 News.